side again, and one on that side again. Wow, wow, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So Lola, you need one more here and one more over there. Okay. These are good, guys. And now I want to stick a stem on it. I'm just going to make like a square kind of shape up there, okay? So you stick a stem on it. Now, in just a second, you're going to bring back the black, and now you're going to do this. Watch me. All along this edge of my box, I have my reds, my yellows, and my blues. You're going to need a red, a yellow, and blue. You're going to need the primary colors. You don't need any other colors out of this box except for these three right along this edge. Red, yellow, and blue. Come and get those. There's a red, a yellow, and a blue. Oh, don't push. Let her get it and go. No, don't. Just get it and go. Remember, we're not going to dig around for them. Red, yellow, and blue. No reason to shove. We're all grabbing the same thing, and they're all the same time. If you if you just grab if you just grab it and go and not spend five minutes putting your hand in the box, Maya, you would have them and you'd be gone by now. One, two, three. Grab them, Maya. Maya. Blue, yellow, red. Grab it and go. You don't need those. Are you need these right here. Don't do any coloring until we all start together. Blue, yellow, and red, and go. Grab them and go. Blue, uh, yellow, and red. Uh-oh, that's say an orange, orange honey. Look, right here are the three I'm colors you need. Melissa, what color did she get? Can you tell me? No color yet. Listen, Good. That's fine. What do you think you're making? Pumpkin. Are you okay, excited? Let me, let me show you how to make up. a pumpkin orange. I'm going to start. First of all, your orange pumpkin is going to have to be made by mix. we got to mix these two colors together. Who's, what are the two colors I'm holding? Yellow and red. Okay. I'm going to start with the red. Are you watching me? Yes. Okay, now when I'm coloring with this red, I'm not going to press really hard. I'm going to press lightly with my red. So I'm just going to press kind of lightly with my red. Keep watching me. Now you're going to do your whole pumpkin. I'm just doing a part of it so you can see what to do, okay? So I feel that in lightning. Now watch me. The yellow, I'm going to press as hard as I can. Are you watching? Yeah. Okay, so with this yellow, I really got to get on it. So that's why I'm kind of in front of it. Now what's going to happen here is the same thing that happened with George Seurat. You're making orange. Yeah, we'll see both colors at the same time, though. That's what's happening. That's what's so cool about crayons. We see both colors. I can still see the areas that were red. I can still see the areas that were yellow. But when you step back away from it like you guys are, it's got that orange look to it. So press lightly with the red, like you're barely touching it, like a butterfly floating over the surface. You're just lightly coloring. When you get to that yellow, you want to press really hard, okay? Think you can do that? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and color your pumpkins. I'm pressing lightly. With my lightly, red. Malcolm. And then I'm going to really go at it with the yellow. This is why we're using crayon. And crayon is one of my favorite materials to use, even as an adult. 
Annalise and Maya go a little lighter. Don't go so hard. Colors at the same time when you're done. And your eyes mix them together. You want to press lightly. Here, use this one. Look at all that red. Press light with the red, hard with the yellow. 